Hey, Diana J. Brody here from NLE Academy, and today we're going to compare and contrast the Motion Tab in Premiere to 3D Warp in Avid. Let's start with Premiere. Here we go. So I'm on this clip right here. This is my cousin Mike. That's my cousin Barack. Let's say I wanted to punch in more on my cousin Mike. I would go to my effects controls. I have that tabbed in up here, as is the normal way of things. But if you don't have this tab right here, you can come up to the window, pull down, and find it right there, effects controls. So here we are, I'm in effects controls. If I want to say scale it up, I can scale it up right here, 200, boom. Then I can click on the motion tab, right? And rearrange it like that. But you gotta click on the motion tab to move it around. So now I've got a nice, I'm nice zoomed in on my cousin right here, right? So uh, let's say I wanted to start it uh, here and make it be started at 100 and we'll click this little thing to reset right there. Let's say I wanted to start it at 100. I can click here to add a keyframe, right? I can go here to add another keyframe. Then I can make this 200 and then uh, I'm gonna want to come up to position and I'm gonna go to the first keyframe. I'm gonna say position. I usually do this at the same time. Uh, and then let's uh, let's reposition this, right? So I'm gonna click on the motion tab. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna reposition it. There we go. So now it's gonna start there and it's gonna zoom in. Cause who wouldn't want that as an effect? Then I can move my keyframes here, right? Just by clicking and dragging and moving them. Then I've also got rotation. I've got an anchor point. I've got some anti-flicker. I've got my opacity right here. And I've got some time remapping that I could do. I could ramp up the speed of things if I wanted right out of the effects controls, right? And I can click down on the motion and on the scale, I'm sorry, on scale and on position. And I've got other choices underneath here for even more stuff, right? Anti-flicker I could put on right from here and uh, Bob's your uncle. And that's pretty much how you do that kind of stuff, that kind of resizing stuff and scaling stuff and rotation, right? Let's say, let me go back to uh, over here to this keyframe. Let's go to the first keyframe. I can click in rotation. Let's go to the last keyframe. I can add a keyframe to location and let's go boom. And now it'll, it'll go crazy. Well, that is, that is exactly how you want that to look. Why not? But that's how, so that's how you adjust things in the clip, right? Most of the time, you're not gonna be doing this rotation stuff, right? So we can get rid of these keyframes. Most of the time, you're not gonna be doing that, but you never know, right? Like I do that on, um, I'll do that on still images. I'll have a nice still image and I'll just push in slowly. Maybe I'll start it at a rotation and then I'll push it so it comes full like that. You would do all that right here. It's pretty easy, right? That's how you do it in Premiere. Here are the things you can't do from this panel in Premiere. Things I can't do. I can't crop. If I want to crop it, right, I got to go over to my effects bin, which I have right here. Let me tab that in right right there. So I'm gonna tab my effects bin right up here. And let's say I go crop. Then I can take the crop. I have a, I have a preset of crop no change because I use crop a lot, but here's, a, here's the transform crop. That's the one that you're gonna be looking for. I also have factory uh, FX factory pro, which I really like, not paid for that endorsement and I will take the crop right out of transform and I'll put it in there. Then I'll go back to my effect controls. Now here's my crop. And if I wanted to crop it, right, I could crop it uh, and do all that kind of, all that kind of good stuff, right? And I can crop it down the whole nine yards, right? Uh, but I need to add that crop. So there's other things that, uh, that I might wanna do to it that I would have to go to my effects, uh, to my effects, window and pull out right and and add to this in order to affect it in uh in avid 
things work a little bit differently, right? Come over to Avid with me. Let's see how it's done over there. All right, welcome to the Avid side. Now, you remember that there was just a motion tab that we could go over and affect all the stuff that we wanted to affect on this. That is not the case in Avid. In Avid, we've got to use an effect. You could use a resize. You could use a bunch of different effects to move this around, right? I never use a resize. You know why? Because I use my favorite effect of all time in Avid, 3D Warp. 3D Warp is actually orders of magnitude better than the motion tab in Premiere. So I'm going to have to give this win to Avid this time. Here's how you do it in Avid. So if you're a Premiere user, you're going to want to come up here to Windows. I'm sorry, Tools. I lied. I'm a lying liar who lies. We're going up to Tools. We're going to go down to the Effect Palette. In the Effect Palette under Blend. Under Blend is 3D Warp. 3D Warp. Let's pull this out on the side. There we go. Now we can see the little icon. Here's the 3D Warp. We're going to grab it out and drag it right on the face of the clip. And then we're going to get out of the effect palette. So here's 3D Warp. Here it is. Then we got to go into the effect editor. So we're not going to a tab. We're going to an actual button that you can find on your tools uh, your little tools buttons right here. I believe it's natively on this tools button. Uh, but if you can't find it here on your tools button bar, you can go up to tools, go down and hit effect. I'm sorry, effect editor right there. Effect editor. I use it all the time. So I've actually mapped it to my keyboard, which should come as a surprise to no one who's ever watched my channel ever. Now that we're in the effect editor, which is in, in essence, runs similarly to the effect tab in Premiere. So Premiere people, this is how you get it done. The effect editor. So here under the effect editor, right? I have, look at all this stuff that I can do in Avid natively with this one tool, including by the way, crop. I can crop it here. I can push it in here. I can do so much stuff here. I'm going to move this to the other side right there. So it's not directly over our windows. And let's just really quickly do a quick push in. I'm going to put a, a, a keyframe here and let's put a keyframe somewhere in the middle. You can also do it right in the effect tab, right? So I put one keyframe there. I just command Z the other, but then you can move your bar to here. You could, I have it mapped to my keyboard, of course, but down here you can find uh, a keyframe here. You can also find a keyframe right there, right? And I've got it mapped on my keyboard. I got keyframes coming out my ears. So let's go here and let's click it right there. Let's say add to all parameters, add to all parameters. I like to add to all parameters when I do this because then if I want to go and then do some cropping or do some scaling or do some positioning or do some rotation, I already have a keyframe there. I don't have to add it, add it once, add it for everything. That's my motto. And then it doesn't affect the stuff that I'm not doing it doesn't affect the shadow if I don't if I don't come down here and move the shadow or come over here and move defocus or come over here and put a border on they're not affected it only affects something once I start to move it so here we are uh, that's where we're going to start our image. Then I want to push all the way in. So let's go up here to scaling and I'm going to move it in and scaling. You can deselect fix aspect if you want to make it. Oh, look at that. And I can add here at this end keyframe. Let's say I also wanted to add rotation. It's already here. Just like in premiere, I can add rotation. Let's do it on the Z axis. So there we go. So now we've added a little rotation. Let's do some cropping. Let's say by the end, I would like this crop to come down to look at that. Cause now it's on a diagonal. That looks cool. And let's do the bottom and pull the bottom up so that it will spin and then crop, right? So here it goes, spinning, cropping. Uh, there you go. It's perfect. It's brilliant. It's exactly how I want it, but that's how you do it, right? I would use 3d warp because as I pull this over here to show you once again, look at all the stuff I can corner pin, I can corner track, right? I can do, I can put a track on it. I can do a shape. 
I can affect the axis, I can affect the skew, I can affect the position, perspective, target, border, all the way down the line, all in one magical effect. 3D Warp. If you're not using it in Avid, you are missing out. But wait, there's more. In Premiere, you had to click that bar on the motion tab in order to move something up and down. Let's say, in Avid, let's say I've gone ahead and I've scaled this up. Like I've pushed in on this 200, boom. And now I wanna center that flower a little more. I don't have to click on the little bar like you have to do in Premiere. All I, all I have to do is I'll, I'll even put a keyframe right here. It's not necessary, it will add one for me. But if I add a keyframe from here, it adds to all parameters automatically when you add it from this window, as opposed to down here where you have to say add to all parameters. Anyway, uh, so I clicked it here, adds to all parameters. Now I wanna reframe this. So I've pushed in, now I wanna reframe it. I can just grab it and reframe it, right? Here it is, now it's now it's dead center, right? Let's zoom it back out tiny. And now, oh, I wanna move it to the middle. I just move it. Notice how it draws that line. So you see the path of where it's gonna go to and from. So here I am on the first keyframe and now, boom, and let's say I wanna put it keyframe here and move it there, boom. I can just pick it up and move it in Avid, right? Even when it's big, I could, right here, I could pull that back up to, you know, let's make it be 400%. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna move it over to the side so it ends right there in the middle. So now it's gonna go out to there and back up to there. And I moved it without having to click that little bar up at the top. So that's another difference between Avid and Premiere, right? In Premiere, in order to move a window, if I've punched in and I wanna reframe it, I gotta click that little bar. But in Avid, I can just pick it up and move it and it's, and it's good with it. I don't have to click another thing, at least while my effect editor is open. Once I close my effect editor, now I can't move it at all. So if you want to move it, if you're like, oh, this isn't framed right, you have to go back to your effect editor and then you can change it. But you don't have to click anything else past that. So there you go. Those are the differences between Premiere and Avid. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of that. 3D Warp, do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you completely indifferent about it? I wanna know. Leave a comment down in the comment section. Hey, if you're finally ready to master Avid and double your job and income opportunities, I've got a class for that. Click the link below in the description and use the coupon code YouTube24 to get 15% off on this course. Let's demystify Avid together.